The most important bit twiddling hack for coding interviews is that you can unset the lowest set bit of n using this trick, n and n minus one. So let's look at some examples and then see what we can do with it. So suppose we've got four bit numbers and let's look at these examples. So if n equals nine, we've got the four bit number 1001. And when we, when we and that with 1001 minus one, we get 1001 and 1000, which produces 1000, which is actually the original number with the lowest one bit set to zero. Similarly, with n equals 15, the first bit is one. When we and it with uh, itself minus one, what we end up getting is 1110. So again, the lowest one bit has been set to zero. When we try something where the lowest one bit is several positions forward, it still works, right? So for something like 1100, we end it with 1100 minus one, and we get 1000, which again, unsets the highest set, or lowest, excuse me, set bit. And when n equals zero, it does nothing because there are no set bits. So what can we do with this? Well, one thing we can do is we can check if n is a power of two in O1 time. So instead of, for example, iterating over the bits of n and checking if exactly one of them is set, we can just say check if n is greater than zero, which means at least one bit must be set, and then check if n and n minus one is equal to zero, which means at most one bit is set. We can also check if n is a power of four by adding a mask to this to check which of the bits is set. And we can also count set bits with this hack slightly faster than we could naively. So if you want to get the Hamming weight or the number of set bits in some uh, integer, in uh, O of the number of bits in the integer. So in this case, it'd be 32, but you can imagine doing this on arbitrary bit width uh, vectors. We can say in n bits equals zero, and then for zero through the length of the bit vector, select the ith bit and then increment the bit counter by the ith bit and return n bits. With this hack, we can actually count the number of set bits in O of the number of set bits by replacing the for loop with while n, set n to be n equals n and n minus one, which is basically n with the lowest set bit set to zero, and then increment the number of bits that have been set and return the value. So this hack allows us to uh, do the counting in a more creative way that's just a little bit faster, at least in theory, than iterating over each of the bits of the bit vector. We can also extend this to compute Hamming distance in better than O of n time. So instead of doing uh, the Hamming distance by taking the XOR of X and Y, and then iterating over every bit of the XOR, checking its value, we can replace that loop with the loop we saw in the last slide, where we say while n, set n to be n with the lowest bit set from one, lowest set bit unset, and then increment the Hamming distance. So this is a cute little trick that can uh, impress interviewers if you're doing a job interview that involves a lot of low-level coding exercises, and it's a pretty cool trick to have in your pocket for any kind of bit manipulation. So hopefully that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.